Welcome to my house. Fuck here. We're back with another one. <clears throat> this is the next mission in the Mastering series line. <clears throat> um, it's going to be the Salmon Hunt. We talked about it on the bait shop. Went all over it. Everything that we're going after. What these guys are all about. Um, these particular ones, it's a single spoon and a medium spoon for them. Um, that's it. So we're headed to White Moose uh, for Atlantic Salmon. 15.5 seven kilos or better um, we're going to Cannon Creek and for the chum 22 one or 10 kilos and off to San Joaquin for the Chinook 33 one 15 kilograms now we need the fourth salmon in this thing and it needs to be 44.1 pounds or 20 kilograms now in the bait shop I was talking about well we could land two things to do that. We could either get the Chinook that gets up to there, the trophy Chinook, or land a uni Atlantic salmon. And the reason I said that uni <clears throat> was because I was looking in the reference at Wiki when I was doing my notes for the bait shop and wiki.fishingplanet.com says that there is a unique Atlantic salmon in the game. Well, I went back to the lake guide then after I was talking to Micah and there ain't we don't have a uni <clears throat> Atlantic salmon in fishing plant. Now, I guess it's in the fishermen that you can because I think it goes up to fishermen does go up to Cannon Creek. So they have it evidently in that game not ours so we're gonna to have to rely on that 44 pounder is probably going to be at San Joaquin um, the Chinook that's what we're gonna go after so for this mission we're gonna start out um, we're gonna work this one just just the way it's supposed to be run all right let me jump over there um, we'll go over here to mission and I've <clears throat> unfortunately I've got a, I've got a bunch of them already done but uh, we're going to start at White Moose. We're going to go after that 15 pounder, and we're going to head off to Cannon Creek, and then we're going to hit San Joaquin. Now, I don't have the 33 one, but I already got the 44 one somewhere in the game on a spoon. So I I don't know where I caught that. But we're going to try to catch him again. Hopefully, we'll just grab a 44 one right off the bat, and it'll it'll end that mission in San Joaquin we'll be able to complete this thing so that being said um my sticks i'm i'm bringing my you know i'm going to keep with my rough country lot here I, i'm not going to change it this is my universal lot out here um i've got a single spoon on this zeus this Zeus is probably going to be what we catch everything on because he's a 46 pounder so we should be able to grab the 44 one guy on him without an issue so i don't expect to use any other pole but this all right <clears throat> so we're tracking the mission um, we're going to White Moose, and I will get myself a license, and I will see you at White Moose. Okay, guys, <clears throat> we're here. Made it to White Moose. Now, these Atlantic salmon, um, you can pretty much grab them the length of the, the lake, actually. Um, I'm going to start up here at the top, and we're just going to we're going to run down, and they, they just run down the middle of the lake. You can catch them as far down here as right, be, right before you get to the ice flow there. I got a couple of markers out there. <clears throat> and so we'll start up here now. Well, yeah, I'm going to use a single spoon on this guy um, rather than the medium spoon off the bat, only because we got pike up in here too. And I'm, I'm thinking the single spoon might eliminate some of the pike hits that with that medium spoon I'm going to get. So that's where we're going to go. We're going to start there and I'll see you down there. Let's go fishing. Duke, and we are. Let's start over here somewhere. Fuck. Woo. Drinking already this morning. Back about fell in the brink there. All right. I think we'll start out here a little bit. Just throw out in there and got some trophy. There. there we go. Alright. <clears throat> Not real 
deep. Oh, three bucks a little too fast. Up here, gets real deep a little, a little down. Well, that didn't take long to grab one up. What do we need here? We need a seven kilogram here. All right. Oh, let's see. I'm throwing the one ounce too hot. I thought that's just gonna happen. Oh boy. Alright guys. Well we'll see how this works there. We may have to move down the lake. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, <clears throat> I think I'm finally last going to Atlantic here. Hey, oof, I don't lose him. I uh switched over to the medium spoon on my jig winner. I run two odd hooks here now. I was getting brook trout and Um, broke out Northern Pike in that single spoon. Uh -oh, ooh, easy buck. Oh, light trout. You're not what I want. Alright, we'll be back. Well, <clears throat> I think we got our Atlantic salmon this time. Unfortunately, he's nowhere near him. Yep, this boy just ain't gonna do it. I'm tired of playing with you now. Nine seven. <clears throat> I don't know. Buck. Come on, Buck, where's you got that? That's only another. Eight pounds twice as big. <laughs> I will keep him. We'll be right back. I got him right there. So, I think what we'll do is maybe we'll go back. We'll give it. Yeah, I don't like fighting that long. A good XP though. Alright, guys, we'll go back to the Zeus with a medium spoon. I'll see ya. Might be one. 10 pounder <clears throat> getting up there. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna stick with the Zeus. Alright guys, we'll keep him. Five more pounds. I went with this. I love this here medium spoon because it's six sevens. It's a little bit less than an ounce. It's got a six odd hook on it. Now what I like about this one is, is because it's light, but we got a deep hole out here. If you want to fish that deep hole below half the column. You got something that's over an like ounce and a half. That spoon's gonna sink real hard right now, where we're at in the middle of this hole. And when you start to tug it, it's gonna be hard to keep it off the bottom. It's gonna want to keep because you have so much line out there. It's gonna want to keep. I even run this guy to number three, get him off the bottom, and I'm accelerating even off of the number three. So he doesn't sink to the bottom and I waste a ton of time trying to get him this way I can still twitch him and play him through that deep hole to where I'm not just dragging him up the bank just to get him up to where I can maneuver this thing. Normally then I run him on three so I get under a hundred feet and I go back to two. Now I pick that guy up right at a hundred foot and I switch from Three to two, he nailed it. Brook. Yep, Brookie. All right, guys, we'll be right back. We'll get that salmon. Well, this might be it, cause <clears throat> he's bigger than that ten pounder was. There we go. Twenty-one. We'll take him. Actually. 
he gets us. <laughs> ah, he's not quite 22 one, which is our next one that we need. We need that Tum Tum. All right, what, what'd you get here, Buck? We got ourselves. Him. Six sevens. I think this is going to be our baby here. The six sevens. Tiger. Yellow tiger. Yeah. Him. All right, guys. That pretty much ends it for this part of our mission. Now, take a look here. That one. That'll do it for us. Okay. Well, we did. We didn't do too bad on that single spoon. We got ourselves a lake trout, a northern pike, a couple of northern pike. I think I got a brook trout on that thing too. Yeah, I got a brookie on you. But the medium spoon, trophy brook on that tire once I went to the six seventh with the six odd. Now I saw that medium spoon with a three odd, we got that brookie. We got the meat, and there's the three odd. We got a lake trout with him. Lake trout with a single spoon. But Six sevenths, that's that's the guy. Right away we started catching bigger fish. Six odd hook, lighter weight, you can work it better in the deep holes, it doesn't drop as fast on you, you don't have to work it as fast. That's what I like about it. Alright guys, well uh Buck's only got 66 and I need eleven thousand. <clears throat> so I need a couple more thousand here. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop down. I'm gonna head down here. The fisherman shot. We're gonna fish for some big lake trout off the dock here. Down and fish down here in in the hole down in here. See if we can pull up a couple of big guys here real quick and make our money. And then we are off to Kennet Creek for the chum. We need a 22 one, 10 kilogram. We'll see you later. All right, guys, <clears throat> we're here at Kennet Creek, Alaska. I'm all set up. Um, we're gonna head down to Angling the Middle Earth. We were here Sunday night on Fishkin with Buck. It's, I like to fish up here. We'll walk up here to ride a little bit. There's all kinds of unique So Hopefully we'll be able to grab this guy up without too much problem. So, see you Riverside. All righty, we're just gonna scoot up here a little bit. Buck, you got the wrong pole there, my friend. There we go. All right. Well, definitely want to stand off the bank a bit here. That sun's going to be in the way, Buck. All right. Okay, guys, we got a couple of markers out here on this one. If you guys want to fish to a buck, I'll pull the map out so you can see what we got targeted out here. And like I said, I haven't. I haven't been back to this map in almost a year, so this is all my old marks. We have to take a look at it. But out here we got, there's our unique chum. We need him right there. And Liberty Medium Spoon. Oh, well, I did not bring the Liberty Medium Spoon with me. Isn't that a bummer? <laughs> oh, well, there's another uni pink salmon right next to him. Trophy Chinook, Uni Chinook, and another Uni Chinook. Just over here. Trophy Pink. Alright, guys, so the one we want is the Chum. What all we need is a trophy. He's over there. So, only what we're gonna do is probably just go uh, right to this one. Uh, there it is, I can get trying. Uh oh, oh you might not be able to get out there. Oh, sure. So. Alright, see how we do here, fellas. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, first chum of the day. <clears throat> Got him right off the bank. I kind of figured I had him. I missed two. I was standing like an idiot, standing too close to the bank. I move up. Okay. We're on to him, we'll see. Now, I took these unis out. Everything was, we got a little bit left of this beat. Um, 
in the morning here and it's going to drop off to nothing. I catch all the big guys at night, so we don't, we don't grab them up here in the next 10, 15 minutes, then we're going to fast forward to the night. Hi right, guys. I'll be right back. Well guys, that was a new personal record for Buck. Fortunately, not what we want. I'll be back. Look at this. <clears throat> this is a chum. This is how this is working. <laughs> He'll stay there as long as I don't move that lure. He is trying. Now, I've, I've hooked up two of them right here like this. As soon as I budge the lure, he'll go away. Right. What I've been doing is I've been throwing right here. One speed. They'll fall it right in. There he is. waiting there. Come on, boy. There he is. Come on. Now, can I walk over there and pick him up? Go. He's mine. Where's my landing net? Come on. Feet on him. Now, I landed this fish. Come on. There he goes. <laughs> oh. Okie doke. Let's try this again. I'll be right back. I got three of them off the back. Hooked them right here on the bank. We'll be back. Okay, guys. I think I finally figured this spot out. All right. It's nighttime, of course, by now. He's got a 14 pounder here. These chum have been driving me crazy because they do nothing but hit right here in front of these feet. That's it. You can throw out there, we'll keep this. Going. You can throw out there to them spots all you want. They, they do not hit until they get right in here. Until they get right in here. All right, so what I've done, because we were standing over here, over in here and we were throwing out that way and pulling them in and trying to land them right in here. Well, I decided to move over here. I'm as far over the water as I can get. And I'm throwing with the with the bank right in this way. Bring it right in here. That was my first cast. And I got a 14 pounder right there. So we're gonna continue this and see how this works. This is where these chums are at. They're in here shallow. All right, be right back. Second cast. Eight. All right, we're gonna get in here. 51, he's coming. I'm throwing right here, fellas. Right along the bank here, just bring it up. Now what's nice about throwing this way is <clears throat> That's the way the river's flow. So you're, you're pulling in against the current. It don't take much to get it right up off the bar, nice and easy. And now you can just work it a number two speed, nice and slow. So float, so float there for you. Uh, you're got the current helping you. I went to a one ounce. Got away from the six sevens. I went to a little heavier because got these guys all on that liberty spoon and. He's a one ounce, so I decided, of course I did not have a one ounce and give him a spoon in my side of the buy one. I already have like 10 of them. Oh well. Alright, third cast. Thank hey God. Alright, okay. Alright, we're going back at him. I'll be right back. Hello guys. Move down the, move down the bank here to my, my other spot. First cast, Nico. What? 
Not what we want. <laughs> I'll be back. Oh, damn near got them all here. Except for the one we want. We'll be back. Well, guys. Oh, easy buck. Might be our boy. I'm not sure. It looks like he might be. Finally. We got him. 25.951. Um, 25, 25, um, 25, uh, 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 25, Guys, day two. Guys, day two. What a day it's been. I've probably caught 30 of these dumb standing at that phone system. I was standing right there at the rock. I was just running along the bank here. Just tons of them, but couldn't get a trophy. So I started over here after a well, I'm going to grow. Got myself a uni dolly over there, trophy dolly in there, and I'm getting out across here, just nothing but regular. I caught him. Actually, yeah, right there. That's all I had this morning. We rolled the system, but we got him. 25 powder. All right, we're off to next. San Joaquin, that's it. Well, I'm pretty sure, come here. This 44 pound salmon on a spoon. I think I figured out where I got this. Taman. Siberian Taman's a salmon. I caught a couple of them on a spoon. So, I'm pretty sure that's where that guy came from. But, we're headed up to San Joaquin. And uh, we're after 33 1, the Chinook. That's, that's probably where we're going to get him. Otherwise, we're going to Selenge and we're going to fish for Taman. <laughs> I don't know of anywhere else to go. I'm not going to. I'm not going to sit at San Joaquin for ten days trying to catch a uni. All right, guys. I think I made enough money here. I'll see you guys in California. Well, guys, maybe we should stay here <clears throat> and uh, fish for these uni chinook with that. I took that deaf medium spoon off and just put a bullet spear on. I just landed a trophy and a uni. 40 pound and 50 pound. Hmm, something to think about. That, oh guys, <clears throat> I decided to hang around. I just dropped a uni and a trophy with a bullet spear. Got another big one here. Just soon up. Dopey's 44.1. But, at least a trophy. I don't know if he's a uni. Pretty damn big, though. Moving buck. Uh oh buck. Uh oh buck. There he is. Okay, he's a big guy. Oh, 
they're not trying to muscle him, but they're just play with him. Chase one down with his pole. Right, stand the ground, Buck, and get him in there. Now quit playing around with it. Bugger. Come on, you. There we go. Your personal record, Buck. Oh, hey. Honest Spoon. Hey, Salmon. Over 44 1. We can mark him off the list. Got ourselves a Chinook. Bad buck. Seven point nine eight four pounder. Fifty seven pounder. Ooh wee. That's uh damn, that's almost thirty one kilograms. Thirty. Three and a half, somewhere right around there, 30.5 kilos. You take that bad boy. Absolutely. All right, guys, that'll take care of everything now. But now we've got the mission. I'll be right back. All right, how to get a picture of that guy. All right, that's what I was thinking of here. Because I looked at the I looked at the damn light guide, and there is no uni snook in... Um, California. Let's keep this guy so he ain't hanging around here like crazy. Um, there is no unit that we would have had to caught, catch, caught. We're gonna have to catch if we didn't have got stayed around for this guy. We'd have had to get 
like the biggest trophy there is over there to get a 44-1. A salmon 44-1 over there. And 44 is like the max of a trophy. So, I mean, that would have been pushing it really close. So that's why I kind of hung around here. I just landed. Um, I That's the uni spot right there. That is a trophy right there. So I had just landed that uni on a bullet spitter. So I kind of, I just fished down through there until I knew this, the spawn. <laughs> well, it, I knew that uni would respawn. And I put this on there, came right, right back up here, same spot. I, whoop, I stood right here, same, same spot as I caught him before on the bullet spinner and nailed it. In fact, we'll mark this and see. It should be same damn spot. Mark the next fish. 67 pounder, okay, that's it. Successful. Where is it? Right behind. You can't even see it from over there where I was at. So, basically, I threw the same damn spot. If you're over here, you only see one marker. That's it. I mean, that's the spot for the uni. I just waited for him to respawn. 40, I think on this... Super Dave told me that the, the respawn for a uni Chinook is 45 minutes. I waited 45 minutes. I came back here. Same spot, different or nailed him. All right, guys, now, now we're off to California. All we need is one trophy, 33.1 pounder, and this mission is done. We'll see you over there. All right, guys, we're here in California. Okay, there's really two places, three, really, but, I mean, two areas um, that you can get these Chinook here in California. One is the Foggy Sanctuary down here by the, by the dam, um, and basically it's just two spots up in this up in this corner right over here, and over in this corner right here. If you're you know, spawning out here, you throw in this corner, you throw in that corner. So there. The other spot um, where there's a lot of snook is we'll have to take the boat for that. You got to go down this canal all the way down the side here, and they're they're down in here, uh, uh, down along the bank, almost all the way down. So, we're going to start over here first, see if we can grab that. Hopefully, the last time I went looking for these guys, I ended up picking this guy up right away uh, over here. So, we'll see if Fox Luck is running. And we didn't have too, too bad of luck there on the, out in Alaska with those unis. Just now. All right, let's jump down there. Let's go for this guy. All right, guys, we're here. Let's dip up here. Far as we can get to and that spot right there. That's a trophy should go right there. A big heat. Thirty-one. Not quite big enough. However, they're in here. That's that's a steelhead over there. But they're here. Look through it. They're in here too, so we're just gonna <laughs> we're gonna fish all through here on both sides of the rocks over here. See if we can grab one up. Oh, we just missed him there, didn't we? Wait, Buck, what do we got here? Two speed. Which way the foe, foe goes the other way, buddy? So it's going away from you. So that's good. We don't need anything serious. All right. Well, this is where we're going to fish. We're going to pull them out. I'll be right back. All right, guys. There's the first one. <clears throat> 17 pounder. We'll keep him. Um, I got him. I dropped over right here on the other side of the rock where, where it's blowing up over here. Got him right out of there. Nope. Go back in there and see if there's 
Be right back. Nope, no trophy. Smaller. Be back. Ouch. That one hurts. What a pound off. What a pound off. 32-1. Okay. <clears throat> that one's complete. Huh. All right, cool. That's all for Oh, the trophy. So I got all the trophies here. Wonderful. All right, guys. You know where they're at. Try it. Dang, one pound. Mm. Oh, I don't know if this is him or not. Might be a trophy, but is it 33 pounds? I don't know. Nope. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Two times in a row, the same fish. 32172. Come on. How does that happen, Buck? How does that happen? Oh. Oh, yeah. I'll be back. Damn, he didn't even make it. 33.0. <clears throat> We're still at it, fellas. Okay, guys. Maybe, maybe. What I did was I turned my boat around so I was facing the other direction in the current. So I was dragging it towards me this time instead of with the current. So, we'll see. Pretty big one, but is he our 33-1? Okay, not yet. We'll keep him. What I did on this one is I threw it right up in here. And this way, I'm going with the current. <clears throat> so, out there at 180 some feet, you can go three, two, one even. Because and when you're going with three though, I mean, it's, it's basically just a twitch. You can you can let her run for a little bit. Now, I have been getting quite a few of them on a two speed because I let her I let her run a bit and then hesitate, and that's normally where they hit on the hesitation. Um, with the three, when you're running a three, it's basically because it's so fast, it's just a twitch. You can play with it more because you're pulling into the current. So you don't need much to get it to get it to move. This is more just pissing around. And I've caught a couple this way too. But mostly 13, 14 pounders on the twitch. Catching my bigger fish on a number two with the stop and go on the hesitation. Alright, but we still don't have a 33 pounder. I'll be right back. Oh well, guys, you know it's bad when I had to resort to a lift and drop. Just so I can make myself happy and continue to strike fast. This is pathetic. I don't know what's wrong with these. You know, I just can't get them. you right back. Okay, guys. I don't know. I switched to medium spoon one and a half pounds, four on. So that's six on. I've caught two pretty quick in a row. We're, oh, we're big enough. And this guy. He's pretty big, but plus he'd be 30 to one. Uh, and this has been brutal. Mission. Brutal mission. And I don't think this guy's big enough. No, I don't know if there's 33 one in here. Biggest one. Get out the most line. 
I'm anchored here because I didn't want to, I didn't think any of these guys could get away from me. Off the list yet. There it is. There he is. Oh. 36, 5, 9, 2. Got him. 722 p.m. day two. We're gonna keep him, guys. Uh, okay, get a picture of him so we have records. Got completed the mission. Be right back. Alrighty, guys. <clears throat> oh, kept him. Here's our reward. We got our salmon star cap. Isn't that pretty? Mark likes his caps. All right now, come on, machine. Play that. Get some goofy fluorocarbon line. Right him. him. Salmon hunt spoon or complete. This last fish was a bugger. Bugger. Jim. Oh, guys. Put a check mark on that one. Stick a fork in this mission 12 and salmon hunt. It's done. Ooh. I was beginning to worry about that. Ritter, I caught two. 32-1. Another one, 32 one. A couple of 30 pounders. I don't know. What I ended up doing was, I think I explained it a little bit earlier, I was downstream, going upstream this way, pulling towards me. And I had to work the lures pretty fast. And especially that, I was running that six seventh, uh, one ounce guy. Seventh ounce, six aught, light. So I swapped over here, came upstream, pulling into the current. I could run at any speed I wanted, three, two, one, depending on which retrieve I wanted to do. And I just couldn't get a big enough fish. I was I was getting a lot of bumps. It was really hard to hook up with that six aught hook on these guys. I was I got those two thirty-two pounders on it, so I thought, okay, this is this is the one I want to use. Um, but I fished it for a whole day and I couldn't get, I just couldn't hook up on them. I got a couple of, like I said, those 32 pounders and it was tough getting them. You really had to play the lure. This a little bit easier, you know, it flows, it's heavier, four aught. I just pulled it and let it flow. I was just basically running a stop and go with just a slight hesitation in it and he grabbed it. Um, so maybe I should have stuck with this guy all along. Um, I don't know. I don't know. But I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. All right, we got them all. That ends them all. We got the Atlantic salmon. We got the Tum salmon over at Canic. Um, we ended up catching a lot of nice unis over at Canic um, during this mission. And then we finally got here and, and nabbed this last guy. That'll complete that mission. Our next mission, number 13. Oh. Selenge hunt. Going to Selenge River, level 48. What are we hunting? We are hunting Arctic Grayling, Lennox, the Northern Pike, Trophy Fluorocarbon, Iberian Tainment, and a Trophy Mouse Lore. What do we, what do we have to use for bait? Uh, the mouse lure. Equip a mouse lure. I didn't write that in my notes. I should have figured that out by what we got for a trip for our rewards. All right, well, I got a couple of them already on that mouse lure. That's a good lure for over there. We're gonna have a lot of fun with this guy. Um, I know where the pike are, I know where the grayling are from that one mission. Had to catch five, ten of these guys on a mouse lure. Oh, all right, guys. That'll end it for this one. I want to thank you guys for watching so much. I hope you got something. I remember, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button so you get notified. The little bell thing there. You get notified when we put the next one out. We, 
Be with us on Sunday nights, the bait shop. What are we talk about this week? I don't know yet. Probably going to talk all about Selene's River. We're going to talk about the mouse lure. We're going to talk about these fish that we're going after. Um, the weapons that we're going to use. So, see you Sunday night at 7, the bait shop. See you Sunday night at 8 o'clock with Fiskin' with Buck. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll go fishing over there at the Selene River. All right, guys. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Never, ever give up the fight. Oh. <laughs>